Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to make an awesome 2D intro in the free to use software Blender 3D. So let's take a look at what we'll be making. So this right here and let's get started. Okay so the first thing we want to do is delete the default cube by typing X on our keyboard and clicking delete. Next we want to go into front view by typing numpad 1 on our keyboard and let's type control alt numpad 0 to bring the camera into front view okay so now that we have our camera into front view what we're going to do now is we're going to add some text so you can go into the top left of the screen here select the create tab scroll through and select text so now that we have our text added to the screen you can rotate it so that it's facing you by typing R and then X and then 9D on your keyboard and type enter to confirm the rotation now that we have our text rotated towards us, we can go into the right of the screen here and select the text object data tab. Scroll down and under paragraph and align, click center. So now we have the text centered on the screen. So press tab to go into edit mode, erase the text, and you can type your own custom text. So press tab to exit text edit mode. So now we have our custom text selected here. We can click this folder here to open a font we have stored on our computer. So we'll include the download link to this font in the description. So we're going to use Allegria Sans. So just double click that and now we have it loaded up here. So now that we have our font loaded in, we can go into render view to see how our scene looks. So right now we have a black text object because there's no lighting on the text and we have a gray background because the default background here is gray so what we're going to do is in the wall settings to the right of the screen here we're going to change the background to a dark blue okay so that's good and the text object is selected let's go into the material sections add a new material bring the specular down to zero and put the emit value to 2 and that looks pretty good so we've got a white text now with the blue background so what we can do now is add a plane so let's type shift A mesh plane and let's rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis and let's S and move our cursor out to move that out left click to confirm that and let's SC. We're just trying to scale it so we get just around the camera balance here. SC, left click. Alright, so that looks pretty good. So, one thing we want to do is we're about to start animating this plane, but we're going to give it a material first. So, we're going to go through the drop down here and select material 001 here. And click this F here and then this plus so that we create this as separate material. And uh, let's make it blue. Go with Carolina blue. And now let's go into the object mesh data tab and add a couple of shape keys. So we click plus to add a basis shape key, and that's the basic shape. And then we're going to add one shape key. So with this shape key selected, we are going to go into the render layers tab here and change the frame rate to 60 frames per second. Okay, so back to the shape keys tab. With key one selected, you want to press tab on your keyboard and then you want to select edge select and then you want to right click on this top edge here and left click on this blue arrow and hold and just pull that down. like so and press tab and now if you slide this value slider up and down you can see we get a really nice kind of pulling up animation okay so let's put some keyframes in there so we can animate this so we're going to kind of make it come on to the screen so we're going to put the value at 1 in the beginning of the animation if we cursor over that type I jump forward frame 35 
and pull it to zero and type I. So if we rewind and play this, we get a nice kind of pulling up animation. And uh, to make it a little bit more exciting, what we're going to do is split the screen here and go into the dope sheet and click the cursor here. Okay, so using the middle mouse button to pan through the dope sheet, we're going to move this off a little bit. Right click to confirm that. Okay, so we right click to hold and then we drag it across here and left click to confirm that. And you can see it moved the keyframe further along there. And let's go to AB Sync. This will just make sure our animation plays properly in the viewport. So that looks pretty good. So we're going to make it a little bit more exciting. So we're going to make it kind of slowly come in. Pull that value up. And have your cursor over that and type I. Slowly comes in and speeds up. And then put the value up here and type I and rewind and you can see we can, we can move the latest keyframe off a little bit further to make it slower at the end and play that and now it kind of comes out comes in slow and then goes fast and then it slows down before it gets past the top and that is looking pretty good so one thing we can do now is we can right click on this text and move it off to the side until we're done working with our our shape here okay so we're going to right click on that shift d to duplicate it right click to cancel the movement and we're going to go into the material sections and we're going to name this plane this is the material for the plane i'm going to click the f and click the plus so that it doesn't share the same material with the first plane and now we'll pull it down and make it a darker blue in the color section here. And G, Y, move it behind here. Left click to confirm that. And A to deselect all the keyframes. And A to reselect all the keyframes. And G, X to move that along. Just so that the animation comes in a little bit later. Let's G, Y and move this in front of our blue, our brighter blue plane. So if we play this, we can see we get a nice, smooth, cool animation. So let's pause this here. We've got our nice planes coming up, but one thing we really want, really want to do is we want to add some fun moving shapes to this. So let's do that. Let's uh, type Shift A and Curve and Bezier Circle. Our X90 and enter. And let's GY and move this in front here. Left click to confirm that. And G, um, let's see, Shift D to duplicate this. Move it off to the side here and left click. Size it down. And S, move the cursor in and left click. So now we have our nice smaller circle here and our larger circle here but what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our larger circle in the center of the screen here go into the curve object data tab and pull the resolution all the way down to one so that we get a nice rhombus so let's alt c and once this dialog pops up select mesh and we've just converted it to a mesh object but we're going to convert it right back to a curve object after we subdivide it to add more points to it. So let's press tab A and then W and subdivide. And let's give it eight subdivision cuts. And let's press tab to go back into object mode and type Alt C and click curve. And now let's select the bevel object, which was the smaller circle that we moved off the screen. And let's select this 2D so that we can get these nice sharp edges here and right click on our bevel object and let's make it a little flat so let's type SZ.1 enter 
So now you can see we have this cool rhombus shape here. So we're going to make some fun animations for it. So let's uncheck you. And you can see that makes us have a little bit of a um, gap there. And if we adjust the start and end points, we get the kind of animation where it sort of draws onto the screen. So let's fill in that gap. Right click on that point there and type E. And just try to match the points as best as you can. And left click once you're done. And press tab to exit that edit mode. And let's make it have the same material as the text. Except we'll name this rhombus. And let's click plus. Okay, so now we have our rhombus and uh, we want to animate it. So let's let's just go to frame zero and animate it. Animate it kind of draw again. So let's I I for both these values. So just hover your cursor over the start and press I and the end value and press I. And jump to a later frame. Let's say frame 35. And let's adjust both of these values. Have your cursor over them and type I. And pull that up or down. Pull the start values and values down to zero. And I and I. So now we have that nice drawing animation there where that kind of just jumps around a little bit and we can make it take longer to do by typing S2 and typing enter and let's see and you can see we have that really nice kind of drawing like animation and it's looking pretty good and let's type shift D and let's do something really nice and type RY 180 and type enter and now we kind of have it drawn around each other like that until they disappear so that is looking pretty nice one thing we can do is we can now add the text okay let's see yeah, let's add in that text. So you can shift D to duplicate it and Alt G to make sure it comes in the middle. And GY to move it forward. And uh Yeah, just about there. G Z. And you can change the color of your text. Click this plus here and name it text material. You can change it to anything you want. I'm just gonna make it different blue to discern it from the rhombus material so you can see we have our text there so you can see because also because it's blue okay and uh, we're going to try to give it the same blue as this blue here and that's the plain blue so right click on the text and give it the plain blue Now we get it to kind of do that. So you can, let's change it back to the text blue. Let's make the blue just a little different. And you can go into the material section so you can view how the colors look without having to go into render view. And they look pretty good. Now let's right click on this Shift D to duplicate it and type F and uh, click this F here and then click the plus. And pull that down to black. GX, the keyframes later in the animation. And GY to move this in front of everything. Left click to confirm and GZ. And we can scale this down a little bit. SZ, GZ. And Alt A. OK. 
can move it further in the animation just so we get the text to show up for a while before that's the transition out and that is looking pretty good so let's animate this text and then we'll be done making our intro so let's convert this to a mesh object so right click on the text to select it type alt c and once this dialog pops up select mesh from curve and um, press tab to go into edit mode type a type p and uh, you can separate by loose parts and press tab to exit edit mode shift control c and you will place the origins to center mass so then you get the text to size around their individual origins down here and let's see we're going to make the text show up at about this point so i mm, location rotation scaling and g r y s 0 enter i and location rotation scale and you can type t and you can type back so they kind of come in and bounce but uh, we also might want to make this animation take a little bit longer so s3 enter so now you get the text to come up and kind of come back in and then it goes out and really we've now finished making our 2d intro what we can do now is go into the render settings and pull the resolution up to 100 change the format to xvid 14,000 and the bitrate 14,000 and you can if you put audio in this file you can change it to mb mp3 for the audio codec you will click a folder on your computer you would select a folder for it to save to so you can use any folder You've got documents video or tutorial and click accept and let's put the end frame at 385 so now we have finished creating a pretty cool looking 2d intro for blender so once you're done with all your settings you can click render animation and it will save to your computer so thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, we hope you found it helpful if you did you can subscribe like and leave a comment below so once again we hope you liked this tutorial and found it helpful and uh thanks for watching and subscribe for more from partners and coordinated renderings of ideas motion and effects